Okay, here we go. On the left-hand side is comforting five at the beginning. On the right-hand side is our beginning video edit of student presentations autumn 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 8, Door Stages, Extended Tech, Momentum, Shadow. In this episode, which has lasted over almost a couple weeks because we were working on that presentation that you just saw a video of, we re-entered by having creative dialogues with one of our favorite chat members, Guy Dewar. Um... We worked on the girl in the red wicker dress. We're going to show more of that in a minute. We uh, began the edit, which you just saw part of. Uh, we began and completed a metaverse workshop and slides. And then we did a phone to desktop demo, which we're going to show you now. We also installed a new version of MuseScore, but it's not ready for prime time yet. And... Uh, began working with a new video edit from our workshop. So let's show you um, something very interesting here. We learned how to connect our uh, phone to, to the desktop using Zoom. And basically we used our phone to run Zoom and open a Zoom session and then we called ourselves on the desktop and then we we Shared our screen. So, two things here we want to highlight. This one is a, a railroad game. Railroads. Which is quite intricate to play on a little screen with your finger as the control. Now, this one you can't see. There you go. So, remember we were telling you about how we've been learning to play games on... Um, mobile phones and everything here is using the squeeze and stretch with two fingers now, this is really and weird because we have to end our tap so the cool thing is we're we're running this live on our little now phone you can see what it looks like uh, this phone right here so all of those are trains look at that so then the reason we were skipping ahead to do that is because we wanted to uh, make an image for the girl in the wicker red dress. Draw. Which is a dress in a red outline somewhere around here. There we go. So we were drawing this live again on the phone with the stylus uh, because this is a touchscreen phone. My daughter would be great at this. And anyway, to make, to cut to the chase, we ended up with a nice picture that looks like that. So this is our image to go with the composition that we're working on called the girl in the wicker red dress. And you can see we imported it up here and put it in our stream log. So we're kind of tickled that that happened. And, and basically, because our workshop on the extended metaverse was using Zoom, we said, well, gee, as long as we're experimenting, let's try this idea of, of streaming from our phone to our own desktop. We also, as mentioned, installed a new version of MuseScore, um, but we can't get it to run at the same time as our current version of MuseScore, so we're not going to worry about that too much. What we do want to show you is our work to date on the girl in the wicker red dress, and you can see again the pictures on the right hand side. And what we're doing here is we are at now up to three separate scales. And selected chords from each of the scales that are what we call implied three sevens twos and fives which have very pleasing um, implied harmonies so we're just going to play this through 
This is the first scale and phrases we've generated so far. Then, this is our second scale, and we get, we lead off with the, the chords. There's a lot more chords, and then we start showing some phrases that we're generating. It's a nice little cadence switch. And then here's the third scale with its available chords and then some phrases. So what we like about this is we're, we're exploring ideas. We're trying to merge three scales into a composition. We're directionally trying to use something with more consonants, kind of a skipping girl. Uh, but we keep running into dissonance, even though we've carefully selected these chords. But we've also, in working with those chords, really had some key insights. For example, why does a 1-4 chord like this sound in the in the right way so pretty if you played it this way well there's a built-in perfect seven and it's got that little urgy sound. So the 1-4, the balance of the 1-4 chord is an interval of a 7, which is very pleasing. So even though there's a 1 interval in there, which is typically, quote, dissonant, you've got this heavy balance of a 7 and a 4. Anyway, we like it. So we kind of uh, lost our way on this composition for about a week because we were working on the, the uh, presentation slides. And just for grins, we'll show you those slides, how they turned out, and they are now posted. Um, and the video of it will be available soon. In fact, we're working on a video. But this is what it looked like. And we learned a lot of things about, a lot of things about tech in this overall episode. For example, how to use a, this is an ultra wide monitor we're on, but you, we were counseled, do not broadcast your ultra-wide monitor on Zoom. It's going to it's going to kill people's bandwidth. So we had to figure out how to, the normal way you, you do a slideshow is like that. You show everything. Well, that would be bad. So what we want to do was display it here. But now it's cutting it off. It's cutting it off. It turns out that if you click this one, it'll exactly fill the available screen. So we learned that, and then we had all these cool things. We made a 60-second custom animation of this concentric that we worked on in a previous uh, series, and then we also made a 60-second anim... We have a minute-and-a-half animation of this one, but we made a second version that was 60 seconds that would fit into the time flow. So we were pleased that... We were performing, presenting this workshop live with a script, of course, and we were also playing our music live that we recorded in this very series. So that concludes today's episode. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with the girl in the red wicker dress and uh, the vid edits 
and uh, we'll keep exploring MuseScore 4 and other tech. And then probably in there, there should be a to be determined, but we have so many things listed, we won't do that. That shout out the guy, Doer, who came in again, Silent Lurker and Stages Juggler. And I guess we should acknowledge Intrepid Explorer who came by and and said you should you should check out this MuseScore four. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.